Hello everyone. The other day I was watching a video on computer file that was talking about uh, artificial general intelligences and uh, safety. That is, uh, how to prevent them from uh, you know, harming their creators or what have you. And, uh, you know, that's, um, that's a, a problem that we do need to consider. Uh, because we certainly don't want the early uh, intelligences that we create killing us or doing something else that is deleterious uh, to, to humanity in general. Uh, and it's pretty easy to imagine a situation where an AGI uh, concludes that humans are the problem and works to eliminate us. Um, in fact, it wouldn't necessarily be wrong. In fact, you'd probably find quite a few humans that would potentially agree with that uh, statement, whether we'd want to actually do anything about it or not. Um, and quite frankly, uh, being a human, I certainly wouldn't want to eliminate humans. Uh, although I think th there is at least a humane way to do that. Just make it so no, no new humans happen. But um, that said, how do you prove that an AGI is safe? And that was part of the thrust of the uh, computer file video. And it's an interesting problem. Uh, and as they were discussing it, I had a disturbing thought. What they were describing sounded a great deal like the halting problem. Now, quick rundown. Uh, the halting problem is a, uh, a situation, a theoretical situation. You, you, you can actually explain it pretty quickly. Uh, you take this, the notion, can you prove that any given program will halt or not. Uh, that is, will it run forever or will it end and give an answer? Now, it's relatively easy to prove that you cannot, in the general case, prove whether a general program will halt or not. Uh, and it turns out that correctness, proving the correctness of a general program, is just the halting problem in disguise. Because you can, in, and now, the way the halting problem is, uh, is generally proved is you, you take a machine, H, which takes a program as input. Uh, you know, a program and its input as inputs, and then it halts if the program uh, you know, halts and it, it uh, doesn't halt, or no, pardon me, it halts if the program doesn't halt, and it hangs, it doesn't halt if the program that's fed in does. And then you give as its input H, and then you give as its parameter, H. And then you end up with a situation where you get it halting and not halting it simultaneously, and or something to that effect. Um, search on the uh, interwebs, you'll find some really good uh, descriptions of it. And so there's a couple of really good YouTube videos on, on uh, the halting problem. But basically, you end up with a situation where you end up constructing a program that cannot determine whether itself halts. And uh, that's enough to prove that the general case cannot be, cannot be uh, uh, done, because obviously a general case would have to work on the thing doing the testing as well as everything else. Now I got to thinking that proving rather whether an artificial general intelligence is safe or not might very well be the halting problem in disguise because it sounds very much to me like a correctness proof. Now, just because you can't prove in general whether a program is correct or not, it doesn't mean you can't prove specific cases. So that doesn't mean we shouldn't try uh, to demonstrate or prove whether a particular AGI is safe or not. Um, but, uh, I have a strong suspicion that in the general case, 
we will not be able to prove uh, any particular uh, AGI is uh, safe or not. Uh, I think if we really get down to it, we'll find out for sure that it is the halting problem. Now, uh, it, I'd be happy to be wrong there. It'd be nice if we could prove that an AGI is safe or not. Uh, but, you know, I really think that in the general case, we won't be able to. And even if it turns out that we could, theoretically, in the general case, I think for anything more than a trivial uh, AGI, and I can't imagine how any AGI can actually be trivial and still be an AGI. But for any non-trivial situation, I think we'll end up in a situation where we cannot have enough information to prove whether it's uh, safe or not. And uh, having insufficient information uh, means that uh, we might as well just not bother trying. But still, it doesn't mean we shouldn't uh, at least look for specific situations where we can demonstrate something safe. And certainly we should consider at least looking for ways of demonstrating that it's not safe. And if we can demonstrate that one is not safe, then obviously we should abandon that line of research. Uh, so I'm not saying we shouldn't at least try in the specific cases. But what I'm saying is I think we should not be too uh, bothered if we fail to prove something safe. Uh, to prove an AGI specifically as safe. I think we, we should instead turn it around and do a lot of hard work trying to demonstrate that it's not safe. And if we do manage, then we know that we don't have to prove that it is safe. And I think turning it on its head might actually be somewhat useful. Um, now, uh, what would we do with these AGIs that we can't prove that are safe or not? Well, uh, we have a precedent. Uh, for dealing with an intelligence that we can't prove is safe. And that is simply humans. We are, uh, we do qualify as general intelligences. We do. Uh, because we can reason about random things, right? So we have general purpose intelligence. Uh, a general intelligence is part of our, uh, our thinking package. So... Uh, we have uh, a precedent for a general intelligence that might do something deleterious. And we, of course, we haven't completely uh, licked that problem either, but at least we have procedures that do seem to mostly work and uh, have some decent checks and balances on it. Uh, so I think the thing that we really need to do as soon as we start making these artificial general intelligences, we need to immediately give them rights and responsibilities. We need to start, we need to treat them as intelligent beings and uh, hold them accountable. Now, I'm assuming that these particular uh, intelligences are probably going to be sentient. Um, I don't know that they will be. They might be self-aware. They might not be. And how would we prove it? Uh, that's the problem, right? How do you prove it? Um, but, uh, you know, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm self-aware. I have this notion of self. But how do I know that somebody else I'm talking to also does? Uh, how do I know that? You, you know, uh, and does it matter? Uh, so I think we would need to be treating these um, AGIs, these artificial general intelligences, very much like we treat human criminals if they misbehave. Just the problem is how they misbehave could be substantially more dangerous. And uh, this is a problem that we need to think through before we get too many of these things out there. And we need to take careful precautions 
to prevent these AGIs from escaping in some way. Of course, uh, a really good AGI will be able to manipulate us into letting it escape, so that's a little bit of a problem. Uh, so uh, we need to also turn our thoughts on how do we deal with them. And I don't know that that's an easy solution. Uh, it's not an easy problem. Uh, but it's not an unprecedented one either, except for the fact that an AGI could well be thinking a lot faster than we are. I don't know that they will be, though. Not the early ones, anyway. So, hopefully, we'll be able to figure this out before uh, it becomes a critical situation. But if we don't, well, then I guess we'll have another war. Uh, with, But this time we'll be having a war with somebody other than us. Um, you know, there you go. Uh, but anyway, uh, the, the point here is that I think we won't ever, we won't be able to, in the general case, prove that an AGI is safe. I think that's actually the halting problem. So uh, I really don't think it's possible in the general case, though we might be able to in specific instances. Um, and I think we should instead focus on uh, proving that something is unsafe that an AGI is unsafe. Look for ways where it's unsafe, the obvious ways, the less obvious ways. Because all we have to do is find one instance where it's unsafe, and now we know it's unsafe. Uh, whereas we have to exhaustively cover everything to prove that it is safe. Um, and also, whether we can prove an AGI is safe or not, we do already have a precedent for dealing with rogue intelligences. So, uh, why don't we look to our own history and our own uh, societal setup and see if maybe we can learn something from that and apply it to AGIs? Uh, maybe, maybe we'll avoid the massive pitfalls. Maybe we'll do it right. Uh, probably not. That's not what we do. Uh, we almost never do something right the first time, but maybe we will by some miracle. Uh, but whatever happens will happen. I think there's a good chance I'll see the beginning of it before I pass on, but maybe not. Uh, it's hard to say. It's all it's all, uh, all cutting edge uh, these days, so nobody knows. But that shouldn't stop us from thinking through the implications. Anyway, that's enough of a ramble on the on this topic for now. Uh, so if you want to be notified of future videos, uh, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. If you liked the video or you didn't, leave a like or a dislike uh, as you see fit. And if you've watched this far, thanks for watching.